Hi guys and welcome back for another video. So today I thought I'd answer probably one of the most asked questions on my channel and it's how I find my pen pals. As well as sharing how I find some of my pen pals, I thought it also might be quite a nice idea to open some pen pal packages. I thought this might be quite useful if you're wondering what to send in your pen pal packages. So I've had pen pals for probably the last five, six years of my life and that started off when I'd find people that would comment on my videos or my Instagram and we'd have a lot in common and then we'd just start a friendship via DM and then it'd be letters and stuff like that um, but in recent months over the past two months I've been using global pen friends it's a website where you sign up and you have to fill in all this information about you awkwardly the first time I did actually try to apply to this website I almost got rejected which does in a way give me peace of mind because I know that there won't be any riffraff on this website it's definitely not a matchmaking website it's not like tinder so the three letters I'm showing you today are from Slovenia Indonesia and Germany. The name is a good fit, it is very global. When you sign up, however, you can decide if you want people from the UK or if you want people from Asia or if you want people from Africa. Basically, it's all tailored to you. You talk about your hobbies, um, what you want from the website. So if you want it to just be snail mail or if you want it to be parcels and packages or if you want it to be via email. Experiencing different cultures and learning about ways that other people live not only grows your empathy, but it's also just really interesting. So these two parcels and letters are the latest ones to come from the website of course I've all asked them if I can you know read out their letter to you um, and they said yes thankfully and very kindly starting off closest to home I have a letter from Germany one of the nicest things about having a pen pal is actually the effort that they put in to decorate things like the envelope and the letter itself so I think this one came around Christmas time and I believe that is why it's been written on a snowflake this is from Christina and she writes, Dear Mei Ying, this letter was supposed to be quite special, but I must admit it's not very practical for writing. Okay, so I'm a happy member of the Global Pen Friends. Since I don't watch YouTube very much, I never knew much about YouTube personalities, but then I searched for you and watched your videos and thought they were very cute. The one about doing yoga with your family was fantastic. That has to be one of my favourites too. Also the one about calligraphy I did like a lot and I gave it a try on the envelope. But you see it's done by a newbie. I think you've done a great job on your calligraphy. So about my experience on Global Pen Friends, it started a little slow. But I found some friends who I totally click with in really remote corners of the planet. One in Siberia, one in Brazil, and one in Bhutan. It's amazing experience getting a glimpse of the world through their eyes, hearing about their day-to-day -day lives, which are so different from mine. Keep on doing these cool videos, and Happy New Year, Christina. Thank you very much, Christina. I would never think to write a letter on a snowflake, but I quite like it. It's very nice touch, thank you. Now onto the meaty parcel. This is from Slovenia. Inside, oh wow. Inside we have an embroidered envelope with my name on it, which is very rare because, you know, you don't find mugs with Mei written on it, so <laughs> anything that has my name is very special. Even the envelope has been lined with purple fabric. It's very nice. Hello, I have received your address from Global Pen Friends and it is my pleasure to write to you. My name is Blanca, some call me Blanche, and I come from Slovenia. I like writing letters very much. Let me introduce myself to you. I am a peaceful person. I like spending time in nature. Me too. I love animals and my favourites are cats. I have to admit, I'm a dog person, but I'll let it slide because you have really neat handwriting. We have three cats at home. They are really nice and because it is cold outside now, we let them sleep inside. I also like reading very much. I love books and visiting bookstores. There are so many nice books. I often read books in English. I'd like to write a book myself one day. I admire all creative work. My main hobby is sewing and machine embroidery. I like drawing and making all sorts of designs. I like making personal gifts for my family and friends. It can take a long time to finish one gift, but I like to take as much time as it is needed for all the details. I hope you like the seahorse and the Mandela letter envelope that I made for you. I do very much and I will keep all my pen pal letters in this and I will use it a lot, thank you. Besides sewing, I also like paper crafts and I like yoga. I go to a yoga class every Thursday. The second card is all about Slovenia and where she lives. She's put a postcard in here. Postcards are always a really good addition to any pen pal letter you write. Slovenia is a small country. It has only around 2 million inhabitants. Our capital city is Ljubljana and I live on the coast. Slovenia has only 47 kilometers of coast and I live on a hill above a small town called Izola. It is called like this because it used to be an island. Izola means island in Italian. Ah, oh, that's so cool. It is very close to Italy and Croatia. We speak Slovene, but everybody in this part of Slovenia knows how to speak Italian. 
In summer, we have many tourists here and people like swimming in the sea. I live with my husband and my son. We are lucky to be surrounded by nature. There are many olive trees around our home. We have a Mediterranean climate. This is why we grow plants that don't grow in other parts of Slovenia. These are olive trees, khaki fruit, figs. I love figs. Pomegranates, jujuba and medlar. Now we can enjoy eating khaki and we dry it too. Dry khaki is even better for me than a fresh one. I have to admit, I don't think I've ever tried a khaki, but they sound cool. I'll Google what they are. It is so sweet. I like sweet things, but I need to take care about what I eat because my stomach is very sensitive. Me too. I mainly eat vegan. There are just some exceptions from time to time. In the third envelope, we have a message from a seahorse. Always be who you are. Be happy, be free, be happy where you are. Oh, that's nice. I have checked your videos on YouTube and I thought about them, that they are really positive and that you are making good work. You have a big sense of what is beautiful and you share many great creative ideas. I wish you good luck, smile and always be happy. She's put in a Slovenian Christmas card. Prožetne praznike in skrekno, in srekno, novoleto. The inside is written in English and it says, Dear Maying, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2018. May joy, peace, health and harmony be yours throughout the year ahead. Best wishes. Thank you very much. I hope you're having a lovely 2018 too. She's also embroidered this seahorse which says, Maying, be who you are, be happy, be free. And this is so, so beautiful. It's like a mini cushion for display that I'll put up in my room. And it's kind of perfect because it's like a seahorse and I live by the sea and by the beach. So. This is really, really lovely. Thank you so much for spending the time to make this. The letter from Indonesia is sent from a girl called Magdalena and she's completely covered the envelope. Something else I like to do is I like to collect stamps from all over the world, it's a bit lame. So these two are welcome new additions to my collection. She's put in a postcard with a cute little kitten on it which says, happy post crossing. Her letter is really, really pretty. It says, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing great. I am, thank you. By the way, let me introduce myself to you first. My name is Magdalena Venazio Monita but you can call me Vina. I'm a sophomore in a private university in Bangdong, Indonesia. Right now I'm taking international relations major. Well, nothing much that I can say about myself except my hobbies. I like writing, especially about poetry, and I do blogging. Snail mailing and postcard exchange are my new favourite things. How about you? I've seen some videos on your channel on YouTube and I think they were awesome. How long have you been doing snail mailing things? By the way, one of your videos about pen pal letter ideas gave me inspiration. I really like that. And I want to wish you a Selamat Hari Natal Dan Tahun Baru 2018, which means Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2018. I look forward to your reply. Sincerely, Vina. So there you have a variety of letters that you might get sent by a pen pal. I'll be replying to all those letters and parcels ASAP and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check the description box because I'll put the link to Global Pen Friends down there. Um, and as well as that, make sure to subscribe for weekly videos every Thursday and I'll see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye!